but then you go to the smaller dogs, so you get the bo into the boom terriers. So this family mainly consists of the American nephews, American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, the English nephews, Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the Irish working line thereof, Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier. But also smaller dogs such as the Border Terrier, the Patadale Terrier, you could also look at the miniature Bull Terrier or the normal sized Bull Terrier. But those Bull Terriers, despite the Bull in the name, carry a lot less real bull blood as compared to those others so i will dismiss them and if you were looking for a dog like that you could also look into the ghoul there which is a working line of those uh, types and they also have some uh, working lines of english bull terrier by van Nelle, the breeder but also english etc so there are still some breeders that want them and there are some bull terrier crosses with, for example, Parson Russells, bull Russells they call them. A lot smaller, a lot more agile and better dogs in my opinion. But that being said, if you want a more laid back, laid back dog, of course you would select one of those uh, show versions. So Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier. The American Staffordshire Terrier is more of a guarding breed as compared to the English one also a lot bigger so a little bit less friendly to humans the American Pitbull Terrier if from working lines is one of the best if not the best canine athlete that there is and the Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier is also very athletic but is in my opinion a little bit more human centered also because the selection they were kept in houses more as compared to the big yards that yielded the American Pitbull Terrier. But there are some interchangeable effects, of course, similar purpose, etc. And the smaller ones are normally the hunting terriers, for example, Border Terrier, Pepidal Terrier, those are Earth Terriers. So a lot smaller. Also carry a little bit less bull, most people will tell you. But especially Border Terrier is quite a, a short skull. I think that the coat could people could be putting people off of the true bull content that they uh, carry despite being a smaller type of dog. Petrol Terrier here. This one is a Petrol Terrier on the leash. Has a little bit more balance, so more Terrier type in many uh, people's opinion. But if you look at the older uh, working bulldog, they would closely resemble the Staffordshire Bull Terrier or American Pit Bull Terrier or the likes a lot more than the, the current day Bulldog which has more of a puck infused face and also the puck in itself has changed a lot in time so exaggeration, exaggeration etc which does not uh, help in the big picture so long story short in my opinion the Staffordshire Bull Terriers especially those of working lines the same with American nephews they carry a lot of the blood of the original working bulldog and perhaps 25% terrier whereas for example border terrier or especially petadale terrier are more half and half or even uh, less bull blood and more terrier it also depends a lot on the specific type if you look for example at uh, at the other fell terriers, such as the German hunting terrier, you get a lot more terrier blood and almost no bull. But that being said, the benefit of the bull blood, of course, is that you also have a dog with an off switch and they are a lot more relaxed in house and also they have more of an extreme gorge and uh, confronting style instead of the yapping, baying type of style. And that's something that you must uh, want or not want in my opinion i want it a lot because i don't like a dog to be yapping all the time and crying wolf all the time because then when there is a wolf you won't give it the attention that it uh, deserves so rather have a dog that is only yeah, giving sick dog when it thinks it's really uh, necessary so 
So that's my video about the selection process of getting to a bull Ontario even more closely to an uh, urged bull Ontario, or in this case a petrol terrier. One thing to be left, the benefit in my opinion of the petrol terriers opposed to for example another small hunting bull Ontario is that if you compare it for example with the border terrier you get a choice in coat so you have that uh, broken coat of the border terrier, a little bit less coat is that but also a long coat, which is longer than that of the border terrier, closer to that of a lakeland. But also this smooth coat, which I like a lot. So the benefit of smooth coat, in my opinion, is that you don't have to do anything with it. So no uh, visits, no, uh, no cutting, and also it will not attract dirt. Dirt will just fall off. It's easy uh, dog, just a wipe. Hyper dog, and you're uh, you're done again, which I like a lot. Also, the odor is a lot less in uh, this type of dogs, and you see the musculature. So that's uh, a very big benefit for me personally, but could be completely different for you. Well, hope you like this video. If you do, feel free to subscribe, and we can uh, continue. Have a great day.